This is Steve from This Week with Cars. This week we take a look at this 1966 Austin Healey 3000 Mark III BJ8. Originally advertised with a 136 brake horsepower 3 liter engine, let's take this car for a drive and then test its true performance on the dyno. Okay, to start this car, it's pretty similar to any other modern car, except you may need a choke. Uh, I think it's warmed up enough. I can just turn the key. So, key ignition on. You can hear the fuel pump and start. Okay, we're going to take this thing for a little drive. And we just put carburetors on this thing. So, uh, we'll pull it back. We'll put it on the dyno and see how this thing actually functions. Okay, these cars have four speeds. Uh, it also has an overdrive select that here normal and overdrive overdrive works when you're in third or fourth gear so that actually gives you six gears using a four-speed transmission This car is the last of the line of the very successful Austin Healy's. Uh, they started out with the Austin Healy 104, which actually had a four-cylinder engine, and subsequent models had a six-cylinder engine. Following the 104 came the 106, and then the, the 3000 line, of which there were several variants. These cars have a great sound to them, and these are really the last of the real great British sports cars. Let's give it some power. The Austin Healey 3000s were great cars, but these aren't really the sports cars that the original cars were. These are more GT cars. They're a lot more luxury, a lot more comfortable, and you can cross Europe no problem in one of these. If you want one of the last great British sports cars with all the luxury and all the creature comforts, this is what you need to get. Here is the heart of the Austin Healey 3000. Uh, you can see over here on the side we have two very big SU carburetors. The HD8 carburetors are different from the HS carburetors that maybe most of you are familiar with seeing them on MGBs, Triumphs, things like that. Uh, these are a lot more advanced. Over here is the two horns, ignition coil, distributor down there, there's the washer bottle. Okay, I have everything hooked up now and we're ready to run this BJ8 on the dyno. Okay, let's take a look at the results here. Let's add the other air fuel ratio over here. Okay, looks like this run we had 105 horsepower and 120 
two foot pounds of torque. Down here we have two lines, one for each carburetor. As you can see, one carburetor is performing correctly. Um, looks like a needle adjustment could take out some of this dip right here. Uh, this carburetor right here is completely off the charts and not working correctly. So it looks like we need to look at the needle on the top carburetor. Make sure that the height is adjusted properly and make sure that the piston is moving properly. Okay, I think that's it for this video. It's dinner time and I need to go. In future episodes, I'm going to show you how to properly tune cars like this and hopefully I can get the sound issues that I've had during the filming of this one uh, worked out so that we can have good quality sound. It seems like filming sound inside these old cars is very difficult. So if anyone has any suggestions, uh, post them below. And if you like what I'm doing, click the subscribe button.